What's up y'all? This is the Swamp Rat and behind me is the family. Wife's working on the go-kart. I uh, I had it up here and was doing some donuts and almost flipped it over and killed everybody. But uh, don't tell the authorities. Anyway, I just wanted to say that life is fucking good. Things are good. Um, don't sweat short-term stuff. Focus on this stuff that's going to be here and doesn't change. Green grass, ocean, sunny skies occasionally in New Zealand. But um, this is a message of I feel for people who are way down, leveraged, out of the market. Hopefully nobody watching this is in the leverage with more than 0.000001% of their portfolio unless you're really fucking right about something and then you can make a shit ton of money. I'm not endorsing that in any way. Don't do leverage. Just kidding. Don't, don't fucking do it. But anyway, um, so Métis got up to about $310, $11 today. And looking at the chart, I was like, man, this motherfucker is about to roll. Roll. So I got, uh, I got, I got to show up. I got like 300 degree fucking ocean views. Um, I'm about 100 meters above sea with sea level, I think. I'm sure, this golf, uh, just got a golf cart. Look, there's no roads here, no cars, no shops, no nothing. Just like, bam! Absolute privacy, nobody around. I love it. I love being with my family. I've been trying to. Um, focus less on crypto and give my family and wife and kids a little more time and um, I needed to, I wanted to come out to this place and check it out. I was thinking about buying it but um, I'm not going to. There's just too many things that don't really work in a bunch of good ways but um, as y'all can see way out there, yeah, that's flax, but walk way down there it's a few hundred meters goes right to the ocean fucking sick all right so let's talk about crypto no more vanilla talk um i'll tell you where i am sometime later i'm on rakino island <laughs> so anyway look it up show up come out here and hang if you want i'll talk some crypto so metis was up to 311 like i was saying and it looked like it was gonna fucking go and then um the democrats no politics, but um, the people running things in America are fucking idiots. They're they're retarded fucking numbskulls who don't have a clue, and they are arrogant and hostile, and the lowest of the low, and the worst administration and group of people that I've ever seen in America, by far. And you know, I'll have a lot of people say, well, "What about the last few years?" Fuck, Biden. Biden time has been just biding your time till he's fucking gone and uh the problem is kamala harris we don't want her she's like the fucking demon witch from hell piece of shit she's a fucking piece of shit but i'm not talking about politics i'm just saying that because of political things having to do with america interest rates stable coins fucking war russia ukraine um all this shit's avoidable, you know, but anyway, I'm here to say I'm still fucking bullish. My portfolio from about a month or two ago when it was at its all time high, it's less than half and I'm down about from the top to the bottom, eight, nine million dollars, but I don't give a fuck. All the shit I have is good stuff. It's got, it's it's coming back up. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about Russia. I'm not worried about fucking interest rates, because crypto wins. Crypto will win. There will be a time, not far from now, that crypto won't give a fuck about uh, stock markets and. Uh, macro global stuff it'll just be like hey if you want to fucking make money or preserve your money or grow your money you put your money in 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 crypto good quality projects and you don't have it in 
stupid places, you know, like banks or some shit. So anyway, um, Mitas, me, Mitis, 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 Mitis. It's um, it's a fucking once in a lifetime type project. And you know what's really fucked up about the whole thing is that Vitalik motherfucking Buterin went on Kobe's channel to the world and's like, yeah, my mom's at Metis, Metis, and I want them to do well. And if you fucking spend one minute in your lazy fucking lives to research it, you'll see that everything that Metis has built, fucking Vitalik wanted. The DAX, um, the way shit works. The DAX is the big thing, and that's what separates Metis from everybody, is these decentralized autonomous companies, corporations, companies. So, um, so everybody, I've got four of them. You can run your own fucking DAC, you know, um, full, full businesses. You can tokenize your business. Um, you can have your own tokens on the Metis blockchain and un and unlike fucking Ethereum, it's, uh, it doesn't cost you $200 or $300 to fucking do swaps or add shit. What's up? Okay. Um, so anyway, the thing about Metis, why it's such a big deal, why... People are like, oh, you're just, you're in your, you're, you're in euphoria. You're scaring me. I'm scared how little people know about where this project is going and what it is. This is a project that has the possibility. I'm not going to say probability, but I think that because I've lived, I've lived this project for fucking months, every day, all day research, learn, learn, talk, alpha, share, talk, talk. So why top three? Oh, anybody can say that. Oh, well, you know, Cardano, Ada, was it top three? Um, last few months or so. Not going to touch that one. But, so, I don't even know what say. Oh, it's BNB. So why do I say this? So everything that's on Ethereum can come over to Metis and it'll happen a thousand times faster and very soon a thousand times cheaper. Who the fuck is gonna be on Ethereum? And even when ETH 2.0 comes out, ETH 2.0 is the Metis uh, protocol and platform and optimistic roll up with a twist on it to make it superior because they've got superior fucking techs and devs and some smart ass motherfuckers and female and male bodies who got together and said, let's build the best fucking thing. And Natalia, uh, do you have those notes from Vitalik? Why, sure, I do, uh, Elena. Yeah, let's um, let's get Kevin and Yuan and freaking write some shit up and make it the best shit in the world. So why top three? Why top three? Because look at other things. Ada Cardano, pfft, fucking whatever, all year. Oh, we're coming out with something, yeah. And fucking like March or February, he's like, oh yeah, we're going, oh man, we're releasing this. It's fucking another year of fucking pulling my motherfucking dick waiting for Ada and ain't shit happening. Sorry, ladies, but... I just had to be rude because Ada's fucking trash. Solana's fucking trash. It's some centralized fucking garbage by a few fucking assholes in San Fran. I'm gonna piss some motherfuckers off. I don't care. Um, it shuts down. Look at my fucking thing. Of course, they stop right when I... I was gonna show you my daughter. She's a nut. She's fucking me, man. She's like a mini me. Solana's fucking. I, I, I don't have anything good to say about Solana. Um, Luna is top notch in quality, and they're probably gonna be going up the ranks. But things like and you know Avalanche is good stuff. Uh, Phantom's probably going to the top ten. But, all right. So why, 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 why do I say top three, five, ten, or anything like that? It's all about the DAX. It's all about having everything that's on Ethereum come to Metis. And then it's real easy because you, you don't need any code. It's basically copy and paste from fucking Ethereum, you know? There's, there's some protocols and things that are on 
Metis, and they're just straight, you know, copy and paste from Ethereum and the uh, oh, with ETH 2.0, the fees aren't going to come down. My my understanding is, yeah, the speed's going to be there, but I don't, I don't even think the cost is going to come down. So, uh, so who the fuck wants to pay? So Ethereum's going to ten grand or whatever. It's not like you know with me, T. So the price is two hundred dollars. You pay this percent uh, in me to, to to for the action. And if it goes a thousand dollars, which it will be by Easter, uh, I think it's going to be a thousand dollars for that, just personally. Um, but uh, anyway, so people are going to be building on them. This hackathon has tons of people. There's no reason um, not to come to Metis. And there's still all these people. Oh, it's just a fucking ETH fork. Oh, it's just fucking another fucking ETH bullshit. Now this, this is where everybody's coming. They're going to have a built-in storage layer. Um, so when that comes, the fees are going to go down and NFT storage is going to be simple and cheaper and better. And Metis, I've always called it the people's token because they made it where anybody can get on there. Like I'm gonna, I'm building some shit. I've got some DAX now, but it's really the people's token, and it's also for for big companies. You know, I know they've been trying to get Ave. I'm trying to get them onto Uniswap. They're 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 announcing partnerships every day. You know, that's what that's the Metis way, and um, they're all fucking superstars. Every everybody, if you look. If you look at everybody and what they do, I, I know what they're doing. I'm watching what they're doing. I'm seeing what they're doing. And it is all, <clears throat> it's all top fucking notch, world class shit. And um, so I'm nothing but pumped. I just want to say, keep your head up. If you want to try and trade this shit, um, I'm a shit trader. I'm, I'm like the worst. If you want to lose money, fucking send it to me and have me tra trade it about when to buy and sell. Because... That, that is something I am really bad at. And I don't need to be good at it because I just hold shit and fucking forget about it. Um, I just want to give a shout out to a few other little tokens. Uh, Credo. I'm trying to get the uh, replay of that Twitter Spaces call today with Josh Goodbody. Uh, I was out with the kids this morning in the hot tub and uh, caught the end of it. And the little bit I heard was super impressive. Uh, but Credo, he basically said, without saying it, that Credo is going to be partnered with Luna, and all L1s will be able to easily talk on the Credo network, and it's super fast, and it fucking costs almost nothing, and it's going to allow for institutions to bring in trillions of dollars through the Credo network, trillions. So the whole crypto market is worth about two trillion now. It went under two trillion for the first time in a long time, but um, it'll be about ten million, ten trillion this year. Not ten million, not ten million, but ten trillion. Um, I'm looking. I'm looking at this island over here, trying to see if there's a beach I can get to. Anyway, um, I'm still bullish as fuck. I think this year's gonna be incredible. They're gonna get over this bullshit. They're gonna fucking print the money. The Democrats wanna stay in office, so they gotta keep motherfuckers happy. So they give everybody money. Oh, helicopter money, everything's great. Fucking cool. Run crypto up. Fucking run it. So, um, anyway, that's all I got to say. I've been talking too long. That's 14 minutes. I hope you all watch this. Um, sorry I had to ramble about the house, but it's fucking impressive and I'm out here in the sun but I am in a hoodie because the wind's a bit cold but um I love you guys and don't fucking sweat it don't fucking worry about being down everybody who paid 322 don't give a fuck don't worry about it Just fucking hold that shit hold that shit for the win credo's gonna do great um I've got alluvium too and there's a lot of people who paid $1,950 for that a fucking month ago. And it's 700 bucks. So they're down like fucking 75% or something. So far, 65%. Who gives a fuck? If you fucking know your shit's real, who cares? 
Credo, Luvium, Metis. This shit's fucking for real. There's, there's a bunch of other real and good stuff. So don't sweat this fucking temporary stuff, man. Oh, well. Global markets all crashing, stock market down. It's going back up. It's always going back up because they need it to go up for people, for them to make money. And just ask Nancy Pelosi what she's doing because she's the crookedest fucking scoundrel bitch I've ever seen in my life. Elizabeth Warren and that 80 year old lady, old freaking Skeletor, the old lady from California, Barbara, Barbara Death Lady. Anyway, um, oh my God, look at this boat that's um, just came around here. Look at that. I hope y'all can see it. This place is fucking sick. I love it. I love the ocean. I love being surrounded by it. So, anyway, I know I'm rambling. I'll shut up. Talk soon. Keep your head up. We're going to win. All is well. All is on course. Don't sweat the temporary.